All right, ladies and gentlemen, shave number 10, the SE Smackdown. I'm here with my gym, 1912, and uh, I'm up to shave number nine. Right now, this will actually be shave number 10. And uh, let's see, I hope you can see it. Stainless steel. Yeah, I hope you can see it. Stainless steel gym blade, and it's going strong. Um, I had to strop it yesterday for that shave. Um, well, the day before, because yesterday I missed my shave. Time to get it, get it in. I got something new in the den, but before I do, I'll be using my um, Omega High Brush Synthetic right here, one of my favorite brushes. Real cheap brush, firm back, firm body on there, soft tips. Sterling Cocoa Forest, probably one of my favorite soaps in the den, one of. Uh, this is a woodsy, snot, it's, it's kind of like if you take Ozark Mountain, by Sterling Soap, which is a real strong piney scent. Add some spice to it, definitely some, you know, allspice and things like that, and some cardamom, and then add uh, some cocoa to it, some chocolate in there, and, some, and then you get this nice, soft, woodsy, sweet smell, but not too sweet. Um, we're gonna be finishing with something new today, Folsom Shady Pass. First of all, you love the name, I know you do. And um, what is real, real manly scent by uh, Folsom, and the scents notes in there are very basic. We're talking about tobacco, amber, uh, cardamom, and ginger. Very simple, four items, but they are, man, really manly, really great. Uh, John from over at Folsom said it's not based on anything, but he said if he had to base this on anything, it would be, um, um, what is it, um, Dolce & Gabbana, the one, if anything. Um, here, I'm also going to be using a balm, you know, I'm it sterling balm because my skin doesn't take too well to anything that's really drying. And based on the short, clean scent list, I mean, uh, ingredient list here, we're dealing with alcohol, water, fragrance, and menthol. Very similar to the fine accoutrements uh, ingredient list. So uh, let's get with the shade because we got a nice day ahead of us. Wet in the face, just a little water on the cup. Water hasn't warmed up yet, but this new formula that they're using for West Sterling is uh, fantastic. It's gonna work no matter what. And like Anthony Epizito, now I load it like I hate it because I've got enough stuff in the den here to keep me going through any shave apocalypse. So I don't see what the point is they're trying to play so conservation. You do it to enjoy it. Much more than usual. So, uh, I'm about to go ahead and load up, get with the shave. I'll give you my uh, comments as I go along. Face. The lather is very thick, creamy, very high grade. It's almost like my pores are even open it up. And I close it up, open it up some more. Very nice. People out there who have been having trouble with the gym razor, keep it directly flat up against the skin. The head actually helps the flatness of it, keep you in the proper position. Yeah, I just totally love this Cocoa Forest. It's, it's something that you gotta experience. Most people missed out on the smell. Missed out on this. It 
you like a man's woodsy smell, this is it. It just has a little more refinement to it. And it doesn't become your average daily regular pine smell. to go in almost every direction on my face. This is against the grain right here. Crazy, I know. See, I'm tugging this my skin here to stretch it. Stretching the skin pulls it out in a different angle to lift up the hairs in a different direction to kind of make it easier to cut. Near BBS, one final pass, clean up. Proto lathery, Coca Force, I love it. When people missed out on it because they can't figure out the scent, they couldn't see it visually in their mind to smell it. Call it olfactory vision. But it's great, you're missing out. Against the grain. A big key is to tuck that skin away from where it likes to sit. Now, oh, perfect. Ah, wait a minute. Now, some people, that's going to give um, ingrown hairs to. Uh, for me, it doesn't. It just helps clean up the shave. Now I'm going to go ahead and rinse all this off with cold water and uh, use the aftershave and give you my thoughts on that aftershave. I've been waiting to use this for a while. Well, since I did get a cut, itty bitty one, just one weeper here. I'm gonna go with my buddy, the Allen Block. The one I've been using is the Maggot Razors Allen Block. $4.95, disinfects the skin, no stain, oh my goodness. Beautiful. Disinfects the skin, and actually for some reason, I get less and less cuts with each successive shave when I finish off with Allen, because it has the tendency to tighten up the skin. I just drop mine off and pat it off with the shirt, I don't care. I mean. This is a, my shave shirt. Better get one if you don't got one. Now, I've started a new habit. I leave the alum on there. I rubbed it on. It's going to tighten up the skin. Skin is really looking like candy now. It's back to that candy look I finally worked my way back up to. So, what I'm going to tell you now is. I don't care what aftershave, you get it, you shake it up. Make sure all the contents are well mixed, well mixed. Now there's alcohol in here, so all the liquid on my face is actually going to be taken away 
there's water in here. So we're matched. So we got alum on the face still because I don't wash it off anymore after I learned what's going on. Just a little bit. Wow, no burn. Heavy tobacco, menthol, amber, ginger. They're all coming out to play. Wow. Okay, wow. Let me get an extra shot of this. Hold on. Now, what I'll tell you is, this smell is ridiculously great. Yeah. Very manly. Ridiculously manly. Um, <sighs> wow. This is actually a good combination with the Sterling Cocoa Forest. Chocolate sweet, the tobacco and the uh, amber come out chocolate sweet, almost like that caramel that was described on the Folsom site, Folsom and Company website, is exactly as Bill so far. Um, what I am gonna tell you though is, wow, there may not be listed any moisturizing agents in there, but, you know, my skin is wet, so I can't, I'm not a good judge of this part yet. But so far, my skin doesn't feel like it's tightening up as usual alcohol-based um, things do, like aqua velvet and things like that. Um, it feels great. The menthol is not a high freeze your face off stuff. It's just right, a good wake up uh, with the menthol. Um, the amber and the uh, tobacco seem to kind of seem like a caramel smell, but you're getting a slight smokiness from the uh, tobacco. Uh, real manly, real stand up manly. And the uh, ginger, nice spicy scent going on here. I love that. Um, yeah, and there's this cardamom. I'm a fan of cardamom. Uh, it's got this manly kind of weird, I don't know, I can't describe it. It's, it's, it's great though. Um, I know, based on what I'm smelling right now, I know in 30 minutes it's going to change. I can tell you now, as the base, yeah, I got to do it again. As a base, this is awesome. Um, because right now I'm only getting the initial top. I can tell you now, in about 30, I'm gonna wish I had some more of this on me and like an atomizer to spray on me later at the job. But this is great. Um, the smell is absolutely wonderful, man. It's only about, what, 16 bucks? Something you should go ahead and invest in. It's good for your face. And because I don't trust anything that doesn't have moisturizers in there, I don't have a choice. Um, my skin will dry out and try to make, try to compensate by creating super oils of sebum, and that creates lots of uh, acne breakouts. So I keep that down by uh, hitting it with some kind of moisturizer, even the, even with this. And actually, for some reason, I smell my aftershaves a little longer when my skin is properly moisturized as opposed to not. I don't know, maybe it rides along it and slowly goes into the skin or what, but I smell my aftershaves a little longer when I do this. And it actually, keeping a good balm on your face, sterling balms, the PAA balms, they really keep down um, acne, not acne, but uh, razor balms. They really keep the skin lubed, nice, uh, hydrated, to allow those hairs to re-come back, you know, come back out of the skin without curling. They actually ride along and glide along the skin. That's why it's important to keep a good moisturizer. Well, I hope those tips helped you. That's uh, SC uh, Smackdown, pound SC Smackdown number 10. Hope you enjoyed it. That's my morning. I'm going to get it to work. Get it and hit it now. All right, take it easy. Yes, two something in the morning.